Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more RimWorld in Banshee's Pass. In the last video we made the same mistake we did before and we provoked an entire herd of this time buffalo instead of boomalopes. So, a little bit painful, but on the plus side we now have plenty of meat for winter! Yay! And on top of that we also got lucky and a couple of Labrador Retrievers decided to wander into my base. Which I'm very excited about. Hello, Babs. And the other one's what? Kamiko or something like that? I don't know. Kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and leave the turrets on pretty much all the time, I think. I don't really see any reason to turn them off when we're having uh, so much power, so much excess power right now. So rather than worrying about flicking the switch at the worst possible moment, we'll just leave them on. And we're also going to continue tilling the soil so that we'll be able to grow things ever so slightly faster over time. Should be okay. I think we need to build a beer shack. Just because I kind of like the idea of saying that we built a beer shack. Let's actually build some paved tiles out this way since it's a common traffic area. Yeah, because we're going to have a whole load of hops here, right? And I'm going to need to be able to brew that. So maybe we just go ahead and do that. Maybe we just build some walls. Like, let's say up uh, here. Like that. There we go. It's perfect. I love it. And this is where we're gonna have some caskets and brewing stuff. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna make delicious beer. Sounds good to me. What am I gonna do with the beer? I don't know. Just let them drink it, I suppose, because I mean beer's good and it tends to make people happier, so. It'll be our little mood booster. Whoa! What is that doing here? It's a freaking cougar! It came out of freaking nowhere and killed the rat! Yeah, that's actually really dangerous. What if it decides to kill my new dogs? Hey Albert. No, wait. Albert. And maybe Snappy too. Are you armed? Wait, you haven't got your gun yet, have you? Did I ever give her her gun? Crap, we don't have our guns for these people. Hang on. Albert, grab the light machine gun. Snappy can have the bolt action rifle. Let's get them armed real quick. Where's the cougar? There's the cougar. It's gonna kill either my boom rat or something. Albert, come here. Snappy, come here. Oh gosh, what's it doing? Hunting Banshee. It's trying to kill Banshee! No, 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 no. I shall not allow that. That is my warg. Fire the cougar. Who's it killing now? Still hunting Banshee. It's hunting. It's not even attacking. It's hunting. It's probably stalking around the warg. What's warg doing? Wandering. Ah! Okay. It's definitely... It's stunned my poor warg. And you hit my boom rat. Oh, Lobo, how, how did you do that? Okay, what's going on with you? So you got some scratches, but otherwise relatively minor, and the cougar is dead. See, I am glad that I was paying attention to that. Because that could have been a freaking disaster. Alright, we killed the cougar. Yay. Now to the beer shack. Work on that instead. Hey, one thing I'm going to do real quick before I forget. I'm going to reduce the size of these zones a little bit to only have one stack of chunks. And the reason I'm doing that... Is because these things stack up a lot more than I thought they would. And as it is, we don't have any chunks over here. What if we have some manhunting foxes come through again and nothing to plug this hole? They'll just stream in and I'll die. So let's make sure that we actually get some materials over there. And reduce the size of those stockpiles so we actually can move them. And I think that that's going to be a heck of a lot better. Uh, I did change up the work tasking a little bit just to kind of focus people a bit more. Fox in particular is going to work a bit more as a doctor and warden. And when she's not doing that, she's primarily going to haul and clean. If she's not doing that, she can cut down plants and chop wood. If she's not doing any of that, then she is welcome to work on some art. But if we're going to do art, we actually do need to create a sculptor's table, don't we? Let's place one right, um, I don't know, right here. That'll be fine. And I'm going to create a quick little stockpile zone here. Where we can put down some more chunks. Clear, important, uh, stone blocks. So that she can easily make a statue. Actually, probably only needs to be one. Let's just reduce its size a little bit. Furniture, we'll place a stool here and here. And for good measure, let's place a new standing lamp and a plant pot. Just so we can beautify the working area a tiny bit more. And I think that's going to have to be pretty good. Nice. I like where all this is going. Alright, we're still building up a new bedroom, with which I shall be able to open up some caskets. And hopefully, we get some really nice new people into the group. That'd be pretty exciting. Wouldn't mind having a sixth member. Now again, 
Some people were making fun of me for not taking on new members when I have plenty of corn. And I'm like, oh, it's not worth feeding them. Well, one, corn doesn't translate into really good meals, Reed! They're attacking immediately. Crap. It's the leader of their faction. And they all have guns. Oh, dear. Hold that thought. Um, Halbert. Draft, go here. Snappy, draft, go here. Sarai, draft, go here. Um... Paulette, do you have any construction skill at all? Tiny bit. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to allow you to construct. Not by much, but a little bit. And I'm going to reinstall one of these turrets down here. I'm going to tell you to prioritize it. We can relocate these turrets a little bit. And hopefully that makes things a tiny bit easier. Here they come. Through the traps you go. And mow them down. Only two turrets. It's not going to be good enough. But is this lady la na la is this lady naked? She's really good at melee, unfortunately. But yeah, she's uh, only wearing some pants. For Valhalla, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that's one down. They've got cover among the rocks. Not good. Yeah, Fox, run, please. Sarai, move. Uh, that's one. Oh, they're they're fleeing. They're fleeing. It's perfect. Where's Snappy? Oh, Snappy, wait here for them to come out and then kill them. Albert, fire this guy. Sarai, fire the blacksmith, I guess. Where's the blacksmith? Shoot him. There he is. And here's one thing that's pretty fun. They knew how to get around this way through the traps, but they're like, crap, there are traps over there. Let's break down the door. And yeah, that makes sense. You do that. Okay, I think we might actually be able to kill almost all of them because they're just going to try to run through the doors for some reason. Well, that's easy. Sarai, come here. Albert. Come here. Oh, I think that more or less does it. <laughs> that was about as perfect as a raid could possibly get. That's a lot of dead people that we now get to strip and take all their goodies. Lots of clothes and stuff. Unfortunately, they're all dead man's clothes, but hey. It's something. This lady's still alive. We could finish her off. She's a miner. She's really good at some stuff, though. She has an annoying voice. Oh, I can relate to you in that way. Huh. Uh, so people don't like talking to her and stuff, and she's nervous, but really good at social. And she's actually got some skill in almost everything. This lady's actually not bad. She's 61. I'll strip her down, but then what are the odds I might be able to recruit her? It could be worth giving you a shot. Let's, let's strip her down. And then let's capture her. And maybe, just maybe, we can recruit her. And if it turns out she's too difficult to recruit, then, uh, well, we'll just give up on her and let her die. She's a pirate after all. But yeah, what's your health look like? You got a lot of gunshots. Uh, gunshot through the shoulder, torso, and stuff. You have cataracts. You also have carcinoma. Heart efficiency needs tending now. What is that? What does that affect you exactly? It affects your neck. Uh, actually, it occurs to me you might not be worth having. You are very sick. Tell you what, you get no medicine. So, Fox, stop giving her medicine. Um, we'll tend to you for free, and if we're able to save you, and it turns out it can be done, then great. I mean, she is recruitable. She's totally recruitable. Oh, I don't know. How, how, how hard is it to deal with carcinoma in this game? It's in remission. How are the cataracts going to affect you? Her eyes operate less... Her Okay, so yeah, her consciousness... Oh, man. Her consciousness, moving, manipulation and stuff, very poor, partly because her neck's going to have issues and stuff. I don't know. Maybe we do allow for a little bit. We'll allow for some friendly chats and stuff, but... All right, we'll, we'll treat her and let's see how she looks after she's been healed up a little bit. Okay? In the meantime, lots of goodies that we can unforbid. So let's do that. Da, da, da. An incendiary launcher. Bolt action rifle. Oh, hello. Guy that we missed. Another bolt-action rifle. Shotgun. Severe illness. Yes. Extreme carcinoma. 
Her neck operates at 90% efficiency. Can't imagine that's a good sign, right? How are you looking? You just got a bruise from a club. Otherwise, Sarai came out of that pretty well. We handled that incredibly well, actually. That was, uh, that was great, all things considered. Did we actually move the turret? We did. Let's reinstall that up here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, that went about as well as I could possibly have hoped for. And we have free stuff that I can sell off, and... I don't know, maybe we, maybe we, maybe we don't keep wise and we just... Oh, she died from blood. Well, solves that problem. Oops, I guess I probably should have given her meds, huh? Well, she's dead now. Um, no, no point in crying over spilled milk. Let's just get all this crap out of here. A breakdown for the electric stove. That's unfortunate. We should be able to fix that pretty easily, though. Can we make a bit more kibble? We never have enough freaking kibble. 50, probably fine. Sarai is fully operational yet again. Nice. Um... Yeah, aside from just going around and hauling and cremating all the bodies, I think we're more or less good to go. Hey, we got some medicine, too. Probably should prioritize hauling some of that so it doesn't degrade for too much. Now, I could plant a bunch of graves and stuff, but, eh. Let's get rid of some of these rocks, by the way. I do not want any of these here, because we already found out they're using them for cover. Okay. Now, I don't think any of these guns are going to be quite good enough for my, any of my people. I'm still... That's a person? I thought that was a sausage. There's a person down here. Did he lose his head? Wait. I think he lost his head. Oh my gosh, his head got cut off. He's totally missing a head. What about you? Oh my god. He's also missing something off. Where'd their, where'd their body parts go? Jeez. That's terrifying. Okay, well, there's an incendiary launcher, which would probably be pretty nice. Um, maybe we can use that to kill some people. I mean, we'll definitely take it. Snappy, actually, go ahead and haul that real quick. Let's make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Maybe when we open up these Crypto Sleep caskets, we find out that somebody on this team is actually pretty good. Maybe. I know, a little bit of Blasteel. There we go. Um, can we make sure that... Well, let's get some more fine meals going. If we got if we got the space for it, go ahead and do it. The simple meals are just supposed to be kind of a backup option if I'm ever desperate. Uh, right. Alright, tilled soil. Let's replace some of this, 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 this. Uh, this, this, some of these, this, da, 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 da. There we go. We have a lot of strawberries that are going to be ready to harvest relatively soon. Also, more heel roots. Yeah, we're going to start finding out that this stuff grows a heck of a lot faster because of what we've done. Which I think is going to be awesome. Muffalo, would you please get out of there? Muffalo gal, won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out tonight? Something, something. Song, dance by the light of the moon. I don't know. It's from It's a Wonderful Life, that old black and white movie that some people seem to rave over. I personally don't see the attraction. But other people do. Let's get rid of those rocks there, cover. Haven't mined this area out yet, and we still have god-awful frame rates at night. Ah! Why? Okay, stockpile. Let's go ahead and move you out a little bit. Since no one's going to be coming back in this alley except for rocks anyway, we might as well. I'm going to increase the amount of number of chunks we're allowed to have. Uh, like 800 or something. Just, you know, if you have the option, you're welcome to work on it. I will manually suspend the task, if necessary. Okay. So we have not a lot of resources. Could use some wood. Could use a bit more steel and stuff as well. The only thing we have an excess of is corn, and I totally blame the tilled fields for that. It's growing out of control, man. Oh well, looks like my boomalopes are going off and eating the corn for me. That's fine. We still have a lot of muffalos that we need to be chopping up. Is there a reason, Albert, that you're just cooking meals rather than, like, I don't know, butchering? Oh, you're gonna make kibble instead, are you? Well, that's fine if you want, but I prefer you to chop up a muffalo. There we go. Did we get nothing? Okay, hang on. Inventory. Corn. It's like we're not getting any meat out of these things. 
Very confused. Yeah, we're getting, like, no meat. Are you just terrible at butchering? Alright, just stop what you're doing, because apparently this is just, this is getting out of control. Why can't we butcher worth anything? I am getting diddly freaking squat. Those are giant freaking buffaloes, and they're worth nothing. What the crap? Is there a breakdown in the mod or something? Is there a reason I can't seem to do this at all? Wow. Wow. Every single one's a failure. You're seeing this, right? I don't... There's some meat, so it's not impossible. He's just doing a terrible job of it. Albert! No wonder our hunting is never yielding any extra frickin' food. All right, rhinoceros. Hello. Even when we do kill a poor innocent creature, we're getting nothing for it. Because of you! Albert, you disappoint me, sir. You are no longer my favorite. We'll hunt the mega sloth, though. Also the ostrich. Maybe we just shot off too many body parts or something. I'm not too sure. Hello, elephants! I bet you they're worth a lot. Maybe we can even get some ivory. Ooh. Start up the ivory trade on this planet? I mean, on Earth, it's horribly unethical, but here, you can get away with almost anything. Anything, I tell you. It'd be great. All right, let's go ahead and do something there. Some tilled soil there. Look how many strawberries have to be harvested. It's beautiful. Uh, an ostrich is attacking. Well, it didn't do a very good job. Snappy killed it anyway. It just like threw, it just threw up its wings and it's all like Vroom! that's a pigeon. I don't know. I don't know what ostriches sound like. It didn't bury its head in the sand though, which I've heard is a myth. I've heard that ostriches don't actually do that. I really have no idea if it's true or not. Hey, look, another ostrich. You can go ahead and kill that. Yeah, this is a lot of clothing that uh, we probably should gather up so I can sell it. Yorkie skin. Lots more guns. Some of it's under a roofed area, technically. But nobody seems to want to haul anything for some reason. Almost everyone's set to hauling. What is Fox doing at the moment? Stargazing. Oh, well that explains why nothing's getting done, because you're just laying on the ground looking at the stars. Honey, you, you were flying amongst the stars not all that long ago before you crash-landed here. I, I think you've seen enough of the dang things. Up close. Ah, uh, I can't blame her that much. It is, it is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, it happened. Oh no. A crashed ship. It may contain exotic materials, computers, even AI personas. This kind of technology can be dangerous. Yeah. Um, this usually has mechanoids inside of it. Um, wow, we are not even close to being ready to deal with this. But that's one way of getting the AI Persona core that I need if I want to construct a ship to get out of here. Well, we don't have to do anything about it for a little while, but eventually, if we don't deal with it, we're going to start getting a psychic drone that's going all the time, and it keeps ramping up in intensity. So we're going to have to deal with that now. I'm going to need to get a lot of turrets together, I think. Probably uninstall all of these, reinstall them around them. And uh, we'll have to just, I don't know, line up, barricade, shoot them dead. Kind of wish I had a mortar. Or something like that. That would be good. Artillery shells that I can make into mines. Because if we hit this thing, mechanoids usually come spilling out. And obviously mechanoids are no joke. It's a big freaking deal, guys. We have to deal with the mechanoids. Um, are you eating my heal root? I am so ready to kill you, Muffalo. Stop eating my freaking heal roots. Oh my god. Albert, feed your pets. I don't get it. How, how, how are we never feeding these things? I know that we are constantly running out of kibble. But do we not have hay? Can I not just feed them corn straight up? There's an ostrich dead. Makes me feel a little bit better, I suppose, but... No, but like, for real, though, why? They're always eating the things I don't want them to. Animals! My muffalos are now officially restricted to the animal area. Stop running around and, and eating my, my crops. You darn kids. 
Ah, uh, we finished brewing. Nice! Can finally work on that. Let's go ahead and start getting that prepped up. Bop it up, bop, bop, bop. We go to production. Fermenting barrels. A barrel for f fermenting raw wort into beer. I'll go ahead and place a few of them kind of like so. We'll need a bit more wood, but we can go ahead and do that. Uh, I will need to get a brewery, so let's place one there. Let's get myself a stool. Uh, plant pot to make things look nicer. Sure, I guess. Place there. Let's get a lamp. Let's get a zoning area. And what I'm going to do is say in this area, critical priority, you are allowed to place your hops and manufactured drugs. Where's wart? Wart. There it is. Okay. And that's going to be the priority so we can place things there. Nice and easy. Uh, actually, I'll just go ahead and make this look a little bit nicer by reducing this here and placing it here instead. Perfect. Okay. Goody goody gumdrop. So, we should be able to build up some nice stuff and uh, we'll start making some beer. It'll be great. Everyone loves beer. There you go. And we'll harvest this stuff up relatively soon. It is at 99%. And wart is pretty easy to make, but you do need your brewery table to do so. You need to get some power over here too, I suppose. That's easy enough to fix. Let's do that there. And the hops are coming to uh, harvest right now. The timing of that was phenomenal. We need to till some soil up, of course, as we're doing all of this. There we go. Do something like this. Strawberries are being harvested as well. Hops and strawberries. It's perfect. I feel like you can make a poem out of that if you wanted to. Not especially poetic, but there's something about hops and strawberries that just sort of rolls off the tongue for me. A bulk goods trader, thank God! Finally! Okay, Fox. It's a trade ship passing nearby. Fox? Call YA Interplanetary, or whatever. I can... Can I sell off my muffalo? Yes, I can sell off my stupid muffalo that keep eating my crops and provide me with nothing but milk. Alright, I'm going to regain a little bit of my lost silver. Should never have bought them to begin with. Regret it. But now, we have dogs that once I train them, they'll be able to do the hauling for me. Oh, you have roosters and hens. Well, that's interesting. I can make food with that. Those are relatively easy to breed, right? Would it be... What, what do they eat? Corn, I would assume. Vegetables, seeds, live plants, meals, processed foods, liquor, and kibble. I think I could trade my muffalo for a rooster and a couple of hens, and hopefully they breed pretty easily. I think. It is worth a shot. Those are easy to breed. They'll give us eggs. And if we ever have too many of them, we can slaughter them. All right, maybe I'm just trading one mistake with animals for another, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. All right. What else do we want to sell off? Um, I could sell off some of my excess corn, right? It seems you're willing to buy corn, but are you will? Or sorry, sell corn, but are you willing to buy it? Why is corn here? And I I'm not allowed to sell this to you, apparently. Okay, well, I'm going to sell off my smoke leaf. I don't need that. I'll sell off... Um, I could sell some extra components, but I'll hold on to those. I think they'll be useful. Um, smoke leaf leaves are better when they're joints, so I'll hold on to those, I think. Titanium I'll keep for the helmets. I can sell off the dead man's clothing, certainly. 21% uh, is not very good. 30% synthread jacket. Eh, I'll sell it too. This cloth t-shirt's not too bad, though. I'll keep it for now. Same with the Synthread pants. That's all you're willing to buy? Really? You are not willing to buy very much, are you? That is, um... Disappointing? To say the least? Do you have... I don't think you have any steel or wood. Well, you have a little gold. I could definitely use some of that. I think I needed, what was it, 20? 
So 20 gold is unfortunately going to cost me a chunk, so there goes all my money. But I'll be able to build the multi-analyzer. That's pretty good. And yeah, you don't actually have any bulk goods. What the crap is wrong with you? You've got wood. I guess I could use a bit of wood. I'm kind of out. Saves me a bit of effort. But that, oh gosh, it costs so much though. Steel. Okay, sorry, he does have steel. I'm just missing it. Costs a lot, and I don't have a lot of silver left. I am not convinced that I can do th some of these sales. I could try selling, let's say, the muffalo wool. What is this good for? Very good if I were really cold, but I'm not going to be very cold. Sell that. Sell the leather. Sell... You have a bad price for medicine, I just noticed, too. That's unfortunate. I can probably afford to get at least a little bit of wood. And at least a little bit of steel. It's not the best use of my silver, but, I mean, I mean it's, it's a pretty good use of it. In fact, it might be, it might be worth getting more. Yeah, it's going to cost me a lot, but oh well. We're going to give it a shot. All right. Thank you. Goodbye, stupid muffalo. We are going to go build... Um, a coop is what I want to build. We're going to build what is effectively a coop. With a door here. And three animal sleeping spots that I can't assign. Well, crap. How am I supposed to... I want to assign the chickens specifically to be in here. Maybe I can. Can I create a new zone? I have to play with this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with this in between videos because we're a little over our time. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>